What's up guys, Kerry from KJB back again with another episode of the Leicester City career mode. Happy New Year, I hope you've all had a very good one in the few hours we've had so far. I'll apologise again, I think my throat's still going to sound quite sore throughout this episode, a bit like last one. I do apologise, but we will move, we'll carry on as is. Today, Villa leads... I, I might not do Manchester United because I might just do these two and the transfer window. And then I'll see what the Europa League group looks like and bring that. So Man U may well be off camera at this point just because I kind of fancy a game just so I can try and find my feet, try and test a few things out. This is how the squad looks going into this one. So obviously Mavadidi played that game and Buemo didn't. It's interesting and Diddy's only on a short term injury. We've got options of where to improve, but I, I, I just don't feel like we necessarily are crying out for someone. Maybe a CDM if Diddy gets injured, but I just like Diddy way too much for a proper replacement. We might have Ian Acho on the way out though, so we could potentially get a striker. We could potentially look elsewhere as well, but we'll see what kind of offers come in. Ian Acho's negotiations with Burnley have broken down anyway, so that that's fine. He's not going to go to Burnley. This is an interesting one. Sporting have come in for Ricardo Pereira. And he is the captain of a club. He's got one year left on his contract. And right back is a position I was kind of interested in. So, I'm going to negotiate it. I'm not interested in the player. To be fair, if they give me 20 million, I'll just see if I can work with that, to be honest. 20 million, they've offered 18 I'm going to go back in for 20, and if they can give me that, that gives me such a good budget to go out and get a really, really good right back. And we'll put it on 19 and see what they say. One last chance. No, it's too high. That's fine. If Pereira stays, Pereira stays. I can live with that. So Aston Villa are today's opponents. We did lose to them at the end of last season, and they do still have just a very, very good side. Martial and Morata are the two strikers this time round. For us, a couple of changes. Dewsbury Hall's coming in for Pooge. Clark gets the start in the right mid slot. And Pereira drops to the bench. Christiansen comes in. So we might have lost to them at the end of last season trying out a new tactic. I think this, after a bad loss against Wolves in the last episode, needs to be a good game. This needs to be a result because they want us to qualify for Europa League or Champions League even, as well as getting to Europa League final. It's, it's a very tough set of objectives that we've got. Good tackle by Kalulu there. These two at the back, Gehi and Kalulu, look like a great partnership waiting to happen. Clark out here. Can he get past Guerrero? Yes. Barnes gives it back out for Clark. Little one for Justin. Dewsbury Hall. Oh, that's not the pass. That really weren't the pass. Clark with a great tackle there. He's got down the wing. Can he play it back? Barnes in the box. Left foot. Puts it over. Good chance. Great work. Great by Clark. Dewsbury Hall. Through the gap to Christensen. What a ball that is. And gets it back on the return. Gets it one more. We Why are we overworking it so much? Baldanzi, though. He's just going to shoot. Good save. Go on, Clark. Win that. <laughs> Handled by the keeper. We're really overworking it. I think we've had some shooting chances we've just not took. And Diddy to Orban. Orban to Baldanzi. Turns in the box. Gets the shot away. Great save by the goalkeeper that time. Clark's corner. Can we tighten this screw? Orban's good header. Great save. We are definitely putting him under a lot of pressure now. Clark goes for that long one over for Christensen. Little knockdown. Barnes in the box. Get it on target. Good block by the defender. But that's such a good chance. Ball straight up for Orban. Turns past Chambers. Gives it in to Baldanzi. Can he get a first? No, he can't get his first goal for the club. Great save again by the goalkeeper. Right on the stroke half time. We've definitely put them under a lot of pressure. We just need to turn that pressure into goals now. Because we had a very good first half against Wolves. And then they turned it around and we couldn't get a foot in in the second. I'm just hoping we've learnt from Wolves and we can try to push on a bit. Baldanzi gets it up. Clark going down this wing. Cuts inside. Cuts past his man as well. Jack Clark still going, drags it across, but the ball just isn't quite it, unlucky. First time they're really coming forward in this game, Azaz gets tackled by Dewsbury Hall, well done again. Now Clark is running, he's got loads of space, can he put the ball up for Orban? He does, turns past Chambers, Orban in the box, on his left, good block again. 
That sums up our game so far. We're getting in good positions. The defense is just dealing with it. Turns past Coyote. Gets the ball over. That's a great one for Orban. That is a fantastic ball. And Gift Orban puts us 1-0 up against Villa. And this is one of those games where we really deserve this lead. It's really nicely done, Harvey Barnes. And the run by Orban's fantastic. He just knows where to place it. Edge of a six-yard box. And Gift Orban just has to divert it past the keeper. It's an easy goal. And it's been coming. This is just if this team stays fit. This is such a good team we've got for this season. Martial in the box. Christensen blocks. Great save, Hermanson. I was going to say, if they score from their one chance, I'd be fuming. Ball there for Guerrero. That's a good, dangerous ball in. But Clark, great header. Baldanzi now. Going just away from Chambers. He's got some paces, Baldanzi kid. Go on. Get it there. Gift Orban. You're one-on-one. -on -one. counter attack from a corner. Orban makes it 2-0. As Villa look a bit dangerous, we've gone up the other end. That's come from Baldanzi really stretching their defence on this counter-attack. Playing the ball at the right time. And Gift Orban doesn't miss those. He's way too good a striker. Great finish by him. 2-0. We lead. Baldanzi's just been put on the floor. Kalulu gets a little toe on that. Martial tries to get the shot. But again, Justin does really well. And Clark's turned his man. Can we counter again as they start to try and come forward? Baldanzi. Orban, ball up, Harvey Barnes, it's your first chance to get your goal for your former club, Barnes, doesn't really get the chance to take it, it's gone all the way out for Dewsbury Hall, Orban in the box, we've really overworked that one, but I'm not as bothered, we're tuning it up, we're just trying to block the passing line, now Clark's here to help, that's a good ball for Kamara, great block by Kalule, and again, counter-attacking is on, now Danzi's ball up to Orban, he's going, can he get his hat-trick, gift Orban, Goes into the box. Ball rolls onto his right. Chambers tries to take him down. We've missed it. Dewsbury Hall to Clark. Clark, what a save that is. Baldanzi in the box. Gets on his right. There's his first goal for the club. A bit of R1 dribbling gets us through. And he's got his first. We're definitely in that new year, new me and all that. Baldanzi's done really well to just craft some space. Puts it back across the keeper. After making a brilliant first save. And that's his first goal for Leicester. It's kind of phased through gift Orban so does that count as Orban's goal Barnes great ball up to Baldanzi these, these this attack is devastating Clark with it try to go for a cheeky little dink over the goalkeeper with three nil up in the 90th we may as well go for some cheeky little goals like that that's a good one when Dia gets through he's put it wide he's put it wide from there that was a really really nicely worked move by Villa the first well, second chance they've had coming forward and he's put it wide in a 1v1 now that is a very very good result and I think on the basis of this Clark might be my right winger having that right footed option out there has been really good again I'm just going to assess the squad I'm looking at it and I don't really feel like apart from maybe a bit of depth here I don't really need anything but in that depth I've got Dewsbury Hall on the bench Kante on the bench Deli Ali, Sammy Braybrook is back, Barnes is there. I really don't feel like I want to go out my way and get a, what would that be, fifth choice midfielder? Deli Ali's there and can do a job, Kante's there, Dewsbury Hall's there, so I've got five, Barnes is there as well. I've got at least cover for every position. Wingers I'm happy with, if Ian Acho doesn't go, I'm happy with him as a third choice striker. The only real one's right back, but I'm giving Pereira this season and he could potentially leave on a free anyway. So I'm going to just roll with this squad unless a massive offer comes in for someone, I think. And saying that, Ricardo Pereira is under offer from Stad Ren this time. They've come in with 18, we're asking for 20. Justin just isn't going anywhere because he's very good. This could be an interesting one. Brighton have offered 11.2 mil for Luke Thomas. He's 25.77. I don't think he's going to get too much better than this. I know a lot of fans of Leicester aren't that big on him in real life. If he goes, you've still got Justin and Christensen. Then we could potentially go for a backup right back slash first Eber. I want to see what Brighton have got in terms of fullbacks, to be honest. So, to be fair, if we can get 12.5 for Luke Thomas. I will take it and I'll try and invest in a right back. Justin and Christensen will then be the two left backs. So yeah, 12.5 mil. Luke Thomas might be on the way out.
Pereira's deals broke down. I don't think we're going to get the 20 mil for him. So I'm not fussed if we don't. I am going to sim this one against Leeds. They have got Harry Suter at the back from us. They do just look a decent team. Playing a standard style of football. In terms of us, we've rotated a little bit. But like I said, we'll quick sim and we'll play the Manchester United game. See what the result is. We've lost 3-1. Harry Suter's come back to haunt us as well. This has not been a great start to the season by us by any means. Thomas has gone to Brighton as well, so let's take a look. I'll be honest, with Luke Thomas gone and Pereira coming into the last year of his contract, I might look at his replacement now. And we've got Rico Lewis on, but he's literally just joined Chelsea, so he's not going to move. I'm looking at Aaron Wan-Bissaka, a guy who's fell down the pecking order at Manchester United. He's gone to Barcelona on this game. I think he's a very good player. I am just going to offer the 28 mil that they've valued him at with a 15% sell-on clause. They want 34, so we'll try and bring that down to... We'll start at 30 and a half and see what they say. 33 and a half, if we can bring it down to 32 and a half, I'm very happy with that for a deal. Yeah, we've got it, 32 and a half mil. 140k a week is a lot, so we'll bump it down to 100 and see what he says. We do also have a lot of youngsters at the club as well that can get minutes, so if it doesn't go through, I'm not going to be too upset. We can always go back in in January or something like that and also just have a scout out for other defenders. wan is just a name that I've picked off the top of my head who I know is quite good. Stad Rene want him now. He's in talks with another team. Pouge is wanted by Arsenal. That's not happening because we're thin on midfielders and he's very good. And wan has agreed 105k a week, so a big pay cut to come to Leicester. But in he comes. Like I said, it's not necessarily that I want to replace Ricardo. He's in the last year of his contract. He's 32 years old. Aaron wan is a very, very good fullback in this league. So let's go for it. Let's make this deal happen. And we've done it. He is going to come in as that number four. I think him and Ricardo are definitely going to have a bit of competition to start with. But... I see within a couple of weeks, wan will probably be that starting right back. But let's keep Ricardo in for now, because he's, he's such a nice chap. He's, he's staying. In terms of anything else, unless a huge offer comes in again, I don't think we're doing anything on this deadline day. I think that is it. Transfer offer for Justin. That is getting straight up rejected. And Taylor, again, no. These youngsters are staying for now, unless it's a loan. Oh, this makes this a lot more interesting. If Napoli have come in for Ricardo for 18 million, it's a very good club for him to move to as well. With wan already in the door, do we just see if we can get 19 and a half and see what they say? It's 18 flat. Can we get 18 and a half? We just negotiate a little bit more. Just over his value. It's 18. He's, he's going to go red. As much as I love him. I think this is a perfect club for him to go to. It guarantees that he doesn't go into the free agents. He leaves, he joins a different team, and he joins a very good team in Napoli. If he wants to join Napoli, so be it. And like I said, I've got a couple of youngsters who can play left back and right back as well. So if he does want to go, it's just more chance of minutes they're going to get. So it's not that bad a thing at the end of the day. We'll see if it does go through though. It has. He's gone. Ricardo... Dominguez, Barboza, Pereira is leaving Leicester City rather than losing one of three. He's going to join Napoli. He's going to be a star over there. He's a very, very good player. Very nice chap. Very good on this career mode as well. Sad to see him go, really. Out of all the clubs that came in for him as well, that's a really good club for him to go to. A rating on the deal because he was on his last year of the mark, last year of his contract, so. Not bad. And like you can see, we've got Clark, who's a proper right back. wan a few of his centre-backs can play multiple positions, so not too bad at all. And Spurs want Jack Clark. No, I'm not even going to give them the 50 million option now. He's, he's our right winger. So we've got all these rescheduled. Let's go and find out our Europa League group. That's not a bad group. It's not... It, it looks tough, to be fair. Leicester, Braga, Bashik Shear and Dinozo Zagreb. Tough group, we've played Braga in this competition before, but I think he's a winnable one, that's not fair. Real Madrid are in this competition, and Liverpool are in this competition as well, so some very tough teams in this league, but hopefully it's it's doable. And that'll be the next episode, then Liverpool, Braga and Spurs, 
we will finish today playing Manchester United. It looks a good Man U team again. I say this every time we play on, but this team does just look quite good. Ahmad Diallo gets the start with Rashford on the wings. Gavi, Martinez, Will Fish still there. It is an instant debut for Aaron Wan-Bissaka who's coming in. Pooj, I'm going to drop for Dewsbury Hall just because he had a really good game last time out. And we haven't seen the likes of Moffy yet, so maybe he gets a chance today. It was an impressive performance against Villa. We've slumped to another loss on the sim against Leeds. We just need to bounce back. And if we can do that well, then we've got nothing really to worry about with this one. Clark instantly linking up with Wambasaka. This is against his former club as well, but Region gets the tackling. Hoyland in the box. Great block by Kalule. Just looking for some support. Wambasaka, Baldanzi. Cuts inside into the box with that R1 dribbling. Tries to pull it back, but unlucky. Great run forward by him. Where's he going? Gives it to Diallo. There's Moreno. Goes for the shot. Good save by Hermanson. This is a very, very pacey Man U team. How has he won that header? Mikel Moreno's put Man U 1-0 up. I was just going to say, this pacey Man U team's doing this on the counter. It's a set piece that's done it. It was his shot in the first place that... Ended up with the chance. It's a good header, but I don't feel like Kalulu should be getting beaten by him. He doesn't strike me as someone who's that good in the air. Oh well, we move. We did well against Villa. We just need to try and assert ourselves, get some control, and not panic and keep giving the ball away like we are. Ahmed Diallo's just got past Kalulu. He's in the box. Fernandez gets Hermanson, you sack of shit. This game might be over before it's even started. That is awful goalkeeping by him. He's dived the wrong bloody way. Protects you near post, man. It's not that hard. If I'm honest, I feel like I'm just struggling against the press of Manchester United. They're pressing really well. Barnes has gone for the little one into Warbank. Can we get one back? Baldanzi. Can't get the shot. Jack Clark does. That is a snapshot. This game is suddenly just turning to up and down goals, goals, goals. And it's just fell to Clark. Right place, right time. Good strike. Rashford gets the other side of Aaron. Wambasak has tried to get back. He's trying to cover the line. Rashford's in the box. Goes, puts a foot in. That is good defending by the new man. Now Clark is running on the break and he's got loads of room. No one's coming out to him. Jack Clark's got acres of running space. Where's he going? Jack Clark in the box. Cuts past. Will Fish has done really well. He's done really well. Go on, go hit. Oh, Hoyland's just nicked it. Gets the shot. <sighs> Every time they shoot, it just seems to go in. I thought Gwehi would have got close. And Kalulu comes to step in. And he just fires it far post. I'm not moaning as much at Hermanson for this one because it's far post. He's got a stretch for it. Maybe his positioning's a bit too far near post this time. He's, he's having a shocker. Great tackle, Justin. But he just goes straight back to Posh. I think that's just what I'm up against this game. It's just one of them. Posh. Ball inside. Fernandez. Just walks the other side of Gehi. Just walks there. How fucking simple is that? It's not even half time yet. This is awful. I thought I did really well against Villa defending. But this has just been an absolute shit show. But danzi has been injured in that tackle as well. Justin on it. Goes far post. Jack Clark gets the chance. Bay and Deer makes a save. I don't know what we've got to do. We've got to really come out and just push for goals in this second half. And Bell Dandy's coming off because he's been injured. So Dewsbury Hall's going in as that cam. Dewsbury Hall. Where are you going? Up to Warban. Straight away in the half. And do, don't be too clever. Just fucking shoot. That's all they've done and it's worked. Dewsbury Hall. Give it to Barnes. Gets it to Warban. Great little feet. Dewsbury Hall straight away. Bay and Deer good save. Dewsbury Hall gets it. Gives it to Orban. You've got to have the beat in a wheel fish, surely. Gift Orban into the box. Hits it hard near post, but Bay and Deer saves it. I wish my goalkeeper could make saves. I'm going to bring Mavadidi on for Barnes. I'm going to have to go two strikers up top. Orban and Moffy are going to have to try and do it between them. It's a bit of a shit debut for him, but it is what it is. How has he done a little nick to get that? Hoyland in the box. Fernandez has got to be about a mile offside. But the slide tackle coming from Ndidi. How has he nicked it past him? Moffy. That ball's not good enough. Every It's just everything we're doing just seems just off it. We've not even defended that 
badly in like 1v1s. It's just been those couple of chances they've had have really crushed us. And just that run where it gets to the byline, that's, that hurts every time. Mavadidi puts it up for Orban to chase. Gets the turn. Gets the ball up. Moffy in the box. That's a good impact. That is very good. You've got 10 minutes to try and get two more goals. Come on. The great finish by him as well. I'm, not even, I'm skipping the highlights. I just want to get on with it. But that's a great finish by the new striker. We've caught him out. They seem to be pressing a bit too high considering the scoreline. Wambasaka's on it. Puts a little ball in. Gift Orban, please win that. Why have you gone for the fucking bicycle kick? I haven't pressed that button. Navadidi. Ball in for Orban. One more for Jack Clark. Are oh, we getting this chance? He took a really, really shit touch. Now he's handballed it, apparently. Sums up the game, really. They're just crowding us. They've really done a job, Manchester United. It was done in the first half. We had a bit of momentum towards the end, but nothing quite enough to shift it fully. 4-2 loss. We've had three losses and a win to start the season, and now we're looking at a run of Spurs, Liverpool and Braga. If you have enjoyed this episode, though, please leave a like. Comment with any feedback, subscribe to see more from us, and I will catch you on Thursday with the next one. Bye!